Hey everybody, Bob Smith coming to you talking about Hurricane Harvey. Shit has hit the fan in Texas, if you guys haven't seen it. And um, preppers all around the country are like, I told you that shit was gonna happen, you see? Who's a dummy now? I got 22 years worth of MREs and canned goods stored up and my ammo and my guns. But um, truth is, shit really has hit the fan there. And even though it's a prepper's dream, People need to pay attention to the fact that you need to start keeping certain supplies on hand, medical supplies, medicine if you need it. Um, we saw a bunch of different video clips of the nursing home and the care homes, excuse me, people that, uh, elderly sitting in waist deep water in their wheelchairs, just sitting there in the water and people did finally get them out, thank God. Uh, we didn't see a lot of racism, even though Antifa has been screaming and the media has been screaming that there are white supremacists hiding around every corner. But what we did see was a lot of Americans coming together, a lot of uh, white people, a lot of Caucasian people, a lot of uh, Latinos, Asians, a lot of black people, and they were all coming together to help rescue people. That's what America is supposed to be about. But um, they got their boats out, you know, and there was even a couple of guys lying going, man, black people, you got to help. You got to help black people because white people are just passing them up. What a lie that was just to take the opportunity to stir up trouble and um, promote that false narrative of racism. I guess that's Donald Trump's fake news. But um, I saw black people in boats with white people working hand in hand, side by side pulling people out and that's the way that it should be because this is America we are the melting pot we are the great experience and we are the ones that are supposed to be able to rise to the occasion and not hide behind this little weak banner like uh, all the little gay Antifa anarchists are doing right now trying to attack people and cause trouble what a bunch of idiots you are you guys are trying to create riots when Donald Trump went to Texas uh, because you're protesting we're, we don't want fascism. We don't want white supremacy. Again, I dare any one of you to show me a white supremacist. You wouldn't know one if it came up and bit you in the ass because what? In 2017, there's like, what, 12 left? This isn't the 60s and the 50s. This isn't uh, uh, Selma, Alabama. And my kids are biracial. Um, thousands across this country are, are biracial. And most of the people don't care about that anymore, other than people who are pushing an agenda. Uh, Chanel Helm, white people, you should give all the black people everything you own. Give them your house. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't make me a racist either. Get off your ass and get your own job. But, um, you know, the Antifa, you guys did nothing but try to get in the way of rescue efforts of Hurricane Harvey. So back to my original point before I got sidetracked, Hurricane Harvey, do you guys have the basic things that you need? Um, do you have a Mylar blanket? Do you guys have uh, food and water? Do you have a water pump so that you can sanitize water? They make water pumps now for less than $200 that are so effective you could drink that flood water they will clean everything out of it. If you don't have one, my question is why not? Do you have a way to get water? Everybody here, I mean, we all have, uh, walk around with these hydro flasks now. Um, that's a perfect way to store your water and have one of those pumps handy. That way you can get water anywhere you're at. Do you have food? Do you have a two weeks worth of MREs or uh, other storage, storable food? Um, canned goods. If you don't have anything else, canned goods, beans, spam, um, things that will last for quite a while. They have a long shelf life. You need to have a surefire flashlight. You need to have a couple of good flashlights on hand at all times because the last thing you want to do is be stuck somewhere in the dark and not be able to see what your surroundings are. You know, of course, it's a no brainer to have self protection. You know, you need to have a good pocket knife, a good quality knife. I'm not talking about some cheap uh, sporting goods store. 
I'm talking about at the very least a good Spyderco um, uh, firearm because when stuff goes bad like this, after a week or two of people not being able to get help, they will become desperate and it'll become like the walking dead. I mean, people will come after you and they will want what you've got and they'll do whatever they can to take it. So do you have a way of protecting yourself and protecting your family? Remember that your family is your number one priority, you and your family. And when you have the ability to take care of yourself and your family and other people don't have that same ability, they're going to come to you. So if you have enough food for four people to last for a week and five more people show up on your doorstep, that's going to last, what, two days? So you need to be able to say no and turn people away if necessary or offer whatever help and assistance you can, but understand that your main priority is you and your family. The next one is communication. I would say to get a network together, um, one of the things that used to be really big in the 70s and 80s was CB radios. That's a great way, Citizens Band Radio, of communicating with people in your area. Most people don't have them anymore. And um, your cell phone, of course, but your cell phone, when you lose power, there'll be no way to charge it um, other than in your car. So do you have a way of communicating with people? You know, your cell phone, if you're not using it, you want as much battery life as possible. So turn it off when you're not using it. You need to be able to stay dry. I see people, I see these guys walking in Texas right now down the road in six inches of water and the bank right next to them is dry. Why are you walking with your leather shoes in the water when you can take a step two feet to your left or right and get on the bank? You need to keep your feet dry at all times because if you have wet feet, your socks and shoes are wet, man, that will bring a list of problems on that you can't even imagine. Um, gotta be able to stay dry, gotta be able to stay warm, have some shelter. That Mylar blanket, you can get those from Amazon for just a couple of bucks now, and those things are fantastic. Uh, they're so small, they can fit in your pocket. But when you need to open them up, they will radiate your body heat and they will draw heat in from outside. So get a good quality Mylar blanket. Um, again, make sure that you guys have food and water stored up. And everybody here, take a good look at those videos uh, for, for a bunch of reasons. Ask yourself, what do these people not have right now? Let me know what they don't have. We'll put out another video and you know we'll do what we can to help them and help you. But uh, communicate with these people and see what it is. You know, Look at them and say, God, this guy is, he don't even have any medication stored up okay uh, because every time uh, shit hits the fan the very first people are gonna go are the people who are medically dependent the people who must have their medication the ones that have to go to the doctor on a weekly basis uh, the elderly the sick um, those are the people the first ones are gonna go the second ones are gonna be the druggies because they're already dependent on society and now when their regular food source is cut off they're gonna become desperate so they're going to be looking to be twice as aggressive as normal. Uh, the next is going to be the handicapped people that can't get around as well. Um, after that, it's going to be the yuppies, the people who are completely dependent on uh, society, food, restaurants, um, the ones, the hipsters, the guys who wear their gay jeans that can't, uh, their skinny jeans and have their hipster haircuts because they are so fashion conscious and they have no clue how to catch a fish, uh, clean a fish, you know, how to hunt for their own food, how to build a shelter, how to get themselves warm, but they can make an incredible fashion statement. So Hurricane Harvey is a lesson for all of us. And if you guys haven't done so, please find uh, the Red Cross number. You can find it online uh, or you can call the Red Cross. Make a small donation, send $10 down there. Uh, $10 would help immensely and um, will help Texas get back on their feet get them up and running again and pray that it never happens in your area or mine Bob Smith blood makes you related and loyalty makes you family out